welcome to little patch today i am preserving some spinach and i am going to do this via cryovac today um just a different way of doing it i have done silver beet which is basically the same thing as spinach but slightly different um i will link a video at the end of this one on how i froze that one so you can do this in either of the ways the other way you can store your greens is by dehydrating and using them that way but i'm going to store my spinach in uh cryobake bags today so i'm just going to show you what i've got set up here and then uh, i'll quickly show you how easy it is to actually do it welcome to little patch my name's kim and if you ever wanted to learn how to grow preserve and use your own food you're in the right spot this community is here to help you guys learn how to do that so hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all the new videos that are going to be coming out over this coming season and we will see you out in the garden in the kitchen in the pantry or wherever we happen to be today so this is the big bowl of spinach this is perpetual spinach uh, so it's a, a bigger leaf spinach so I've given this all a really good wash and a rinse and cleaned it all out and this is the food saver I have this one here this is a sunbeam one and um, I have actually used this in a long time probably a year and a half two years so I, I'm I've had to do a quick uh, refresh on how to actually use it so this is going to be really quick and simple guys just to get the spinach into the bags cryovac them and then straight into the freezer so with my machine here it actually has the bags that are inside the machine uh, they stay in here they just drop in there upside down um, so then all I'm going to do is this lifts up and you pull it out and it has a little cutter on it so you just cut your bags to the size you want but first I am going to seal off my bag on the bottom so I'm going to put it here where the sealer is close it down turn it on and hit the seal button this does only take a few seconds to do it it doesn't actually make any noise while it's doing it done now if I put it in the right spot I did the bag has a nice little seal across the bottom and then I'm just going to pull out to however big a bag I want it if I want a little one or a big one uh, but then I also have to take into consideration when I put this back in the machine to suck the air out and seal it I need to have about an inch inch and a half uh, headspace as we could call it so then that section of my bag is where my vegetables will go into so I'm going to go a little bit bigger run the cutter across and the bag is now loose and from there um, this spinach does not need to be blanched like this uh, it all cut up it's going in whole it will break down the when it freezes this it will or the when it freezes the freezing of the enzymes will break it down into smaller pieces so that it will come out in smaller pieces um, so just going to self my bag the other good thing about these uh, cryovac bags is that well, you can seal and reseal them and they don't come undone in the freezer like the lock seal bags do uh, they are more expensive than the lock seal bags but I'm very much considering changing over to them instead of the lock seal bags they're thicker they're more freezer friendly as well does come out but this is the vacuum seal section this just collects any water and stuff uh, that might accidentally come out while it's sucking so it doesn't go through the machine make sure everything's pushed down probably the 
trickiest bit is with this spinner, just making sure the little stem bits are not sticking up. Put it in that bit. Still got some spinach going in the wrong direction. Just keeping it as flat and wrinkle free as you possibly can. Closing the lid, clicking it into lock, and then we're going to push fast. Moist because there's some moisture in here. Just going to move it around just a little bit, get the hole in the bottom, and then I'm going to push. The Vacuum and seal button. Mine has a little uh, thing here, it says progress, so this is uh, vacuuming and then it will tell me and this little light will go off. Now it's sealing. And we're done. So I just unlock it on this side, open it up, and there we have a bag of spinach. I still have to perfect the art of having it flat, but this will go in the freezer to all the same. Uh, right on top of it, what it is and the date, and uh, put it in the freezer. Then when you start taking stuff out of here, just cut it close to the seal as you can, take out what you want, and just reseal it again, and you're good to go back in the freezer. But I can't find me a permanent marker pen, so I'm just putting it in some little sticky labels that I'm hoping it will stay in here. And I'm just putting it between the plastic, so that will help keep them from getting wet. This looks a little bit better than the last one. So I've ended up with two and a half bags of spinach. So these will now go into the freezer and we'll use them as we want. So it's really easy to cry back stuff, guys. Um, any of your greens, it's very simple for them to go in here. Um, probably six months, maybe 12 months storage-wise. Uh, just keep an eye on them in the freezer if they look like they're starting to um, not be so good, get them used up. So they should come out really good, just like you would if you were getting frozen spinach. Um, it's just it's not pre-cooked, um, which is fine to be using it this way. So guys, that is it from me here at Little Patch. But this one is a really quick and easy way of vacuum sealing things. You can pretty much vacuum seal a lot of foods and... Uh, it's really, really quick and simple. All right, guys, check out these couple of vids here. Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next vid where we are preserving something else, cooking something, or just out in the garden enjoying the beautiful day. We'll see you then.